Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar AI and I'm talking about how you can quickly and powerfully change the mood in an image using one particular tool. And of course, as the name implies, that is the mood tool using LUTs. Let me get into it. Here's an image that I've done a little cleanup on, straightened, cropped, things like that, but I've done nothing else. And I was kind of playing around. I was like, oh, Accent AI, I should do that. Kind of bump that up a little bit. You know, maybe pretty intense like that. Maybe, you know, give the sky a little bit as well. And while I liked it in color, I don't know, it, it just wasn't really like getting me really excited. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna stick a LUT on there. So if you go into the mood tool, there are a number of LUTs that are included. And a LUT, by the way, is, uh, is short for lookup table. And really all it is, is it's a file that can be applied. It's kind of like a preset, but basically it remaps color and tone values from whatever they are to whatever the LUT instructs them to do. So it acts like a preset. Now I've been actually building my own LUTs and I'm gonna use one of my own and I've just released a pack. I haven't really made any mention of it anywhere, but it is for sale on my blog. If you're interested in checking it out, and if not, that's cool too. I'll show that to you here in a second. But just click on load custom LUT file. I'm gonna get this contrasty two LUT of mine. They are .cube files. By the way, LUTs work in multiple products. They're working on one. You can use them in Lightroom, things like that. So um, Contrasty2, my LUT is on there. I'm gonna go ahead and move that all the way to 100. And now I've got a really powerful black and white, which I like quite a bit. I mean, I think that just looks really cool. And for me, the difference was, you know, I liked the color, but there was so much blue and it was a weird kind of blue that it was kind of hard to manage. And I felt like it's kind of got the wrong overall tones. And so I thought, you know, I'll try a black and white. And I think that just really impacted the mood in a very positive way, you know, across the whole photo. And I just think that looks good. And then from here, I would go in and then I would go into color and luminance. And so if you remember looking at the base photo, lots of blue, lots of kind of cyan, you can come in here to luminance and maybe make some adjustments to those to create more or less mood. So I might bump up the cyan. If you take the blue, you could bump that up as well, make it a little bit less uh, dark in the sky, or you could go the other way and create a little bit more intensity in that if you wanted to. You have a, quite a bit of options there, but I really felt that the LUT tool came in clutch for me. Let me just show you, just as a shameless plug, if you're on my website, gymnex.com, if you click on shop, you can see that my monochrome mastery LUT pack is available here. It is $15, it's 15 LUTs. I've got some examples of photo of a photo that has some of the different LUTs applied to it, and I'll come back and do a video about it. Uh, this is kind of a soft announcement, soft launch. So if you're interested, feel free to check it out on my website down below. But I mostly wanted to point out, even if you don't use my LUTs, use the ones that are built in, experiment with the tool. You can find some free LUTs on different websites and things like that. Check them out though. There's a lot of power, a lot of flexibility, and it really does, as the name implies, you know, they call it the mood tool. It can significantly alter the mood of your photo because once again, if I go like that, colorful, bright, kind of happy, that sort of thing. And I use this LUT, stuck it on there, and wow, I, I feel like I have a powerful, high contrast, like um, I think a beautiful monochrome. And it was really just stick in the LUT and move the amount to 100, and I was done with it. So powerful, fun, flexible, that's what the mood tool is all about, and it can really have a huge impact on your photo in just a couple of seconds. Check it out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back soon with more tutorials. You guys uh, be careful out there. Stay safe. I'll see you soon and adios.